okay you are welcome back to the second part of this open verse setup okay so in the previous video we did download open verse from greenbone network and then went ahead to set it up on a virtual box environment and then in this part two we are going to perform a scan all right so we're going to see how we can scan a system in our network uh, for vulnerabilities and the system I'm going to use is OWASP broken web application and it's actually a vulnerable web server so the link to download this is here so you go to sourceforge.net project then OWASP BWA and you're going to scroll down a bit and go to files and you're going to hit on download okay so the one you are going to download is this first one here 1.2 so if you click on it it's going to open it up and yeah so you could see the first one here OWASP broken web app VM uh, so hit on that guy to download it so already I've done that and um, how you install it in your virtual box very straightforward so you could see I already have a WASP web server running so it's actually a web server and there are websites hosted on it so I want to scan it for vulnerabilities otherwise how to install it go to file go to import and then browse to where the downloaded OWASP is just the same way we did for open verse and get that guy imported and make sure that once you are done with the import it displays here you go to settings and put it on bridge adapter right so network and then make it on bridge and that's it and then click on ok all right then go ahead and power it on so it's already powered on and it's going to ask us to log in uh you can see in the screen here it shows us that the username is root and the password is OWASP bwa so username root and put in the password OWASP bwa and so we are inside this box and the first thing we'll do is to check what his ip address is so i could do ifconfig and hit the enter key and here you could see that the ip address is 192.168.0.152 Okay, so if I take this IP address 192.168.0.152 and uh, go to my laptop's browser and put in that IP address 192.168.0.152, and then you could see that that OWASP is a web server. All right, this is a website that is hosted on it. So we can browse to different uh, pages on this website okay so that's this machine that you see running here on the virtual box the OWASP web server I just showed you a link on searchforge.net to download it and also go and import it here put it on bridge adapter okay so this is the idea we want to use this open verse which is a vulnerability scanner to scan this machine and see if it has some vulnerabilities right so in your own internal network you probably may have more than two systems but i'm just doing, going to keep this lab simple so this machine is a scanner and this is the machine we are scanning right and um, the next thing to do is to make sure that the the two machines can talk to each other you remember the ip address of my open verse i put it in a notepad that time that actually is a 1.20 and so I'm going to check if the web server, which is OWASP, is able to talk to the scanner. So let's do that. So in here, I'm going to type ping and then put in the open VAS IP 192.168.0.120 and hit the enter key so you could see it's pinging. So there is communication. So control C to abort the ping. Okay. So now let's head over to the open vars and start to scan okay the last time out we logged in into this interface all right so we're going to um, carry out a scan so it has timed me out so i'm just going to log in again 
All right, so the first thing to do is to configure um, what is called credential. So we go to configuration and then we we'll go to credential. And I'm going to click here so you can see new credential. And this credential, I'm going to name it uh, uh, OWASP. So the name of the server is OWASP, web server. So OWASP server. And if you like, I can put a comment. So I'm going to uh, put in the username and password of that server. What does that mean? It means that the type of scan we are carrying out is credential scan. So credential scan requires that you put in the username and passwords of the machine that you want to scan for vulnerability um, on your scanner. So what we are saying in essence is that OpenVars, which is our vulnerability scanner, should scan which machine? Our web server, this is OWASP, and it's going to provide the username and password of the web server while scanning it. That is called credential scan. And we also have another type of scan, which is non-credential scan. Uh, credential scan is much more reliable uh, compared to non-credential scan. has less false positives. Okay. So now, what is the, IP, uh, the username and password of the machine we want to scan? So you can see I put in the username and password some time ago. And the username is root, while the password is um, OWASP. BWA. So I'm trying to see if you can scroll up. Uh, it's not allowing me to scroll up. But you saw when I logged in here, the username was roots and then the password was OWASP BWA. So that is the credential to gain access to this machine. And we're going to use it to provision a scan. So username is root and password of the machine we want to scan is OWASP BWA. All right, that's pretty much it. And uh, we'll click on save. So we've created a credential and this credential will be used to scan this server when it's time for do, for us to do so. So we have to head over to assets and then go to host and we're going to add a host, right? So click on this new and the host will be the IP address of the machine that we want to scan. In this case, 192.168.0. Dot one five two. That is the IP address of the server that we want to scan. Let's confirm. So here, uh, actually, let me clear the screen. And once again, I'm going to do IF config just to confirm the IP address. So you could see that is one nine two one six eight zero one five two. Okay, let's come over here, and that's correct. Then click on save. So we've actually created an asset, right? And now that we have configured the credential that we are going to use to perform the scan, and under the host, we have defined a host, right? This is our host. Let's now go and create a scan. So I'm going to go to scan, and then I'm going to create a task. Click on task, and click on this icon here, and select new task. And this is going to be scanning um, my web server so can give it any name scan target is not defined so we have to click on this box to create a target uh, target is our OWASP server and we're going to put in manually the IP address but we can also select it from a file so imagine that I have a notepad and in this notepad, I've got a couple of IP addresses, maybe IP addresses of 100 systems. And I saved this notepad as IP addresses. In that case, what I will have to do if I'm scanning from a file is to click on choose and I'll have to navigate to where that file that contains list of IP addresses is located and select it. And all the IP addresses in that file will be scanned. Okay, but for now, I want to do it manually. So I have to put in the IP address of the machine that I want to scan. In this case, it's 0 0.152. All right. If you don't want to scan a particular host, you can put those IP addresses of those hosts as 
excluded host. Um, allow simultaneous scanning, of course. Yes, we want to scan more than one system at a time. Port list all IANA assigned IC, uh, TCP. There is also all IANA assigned TCP and UDP. There is also TCP and Nmap top hundred. Let me ask, let me scan both TCP and UDP. Uh, a live test. We're going to use the scan config. Uh, in production, you probably will be using consider live, and then your scanning uh, your scanning tool will focus on systems that are live, meaning systems that are currently powered on on the network. Okay, we're just going to use the scan defaults credentials for authenticated checks. Um, the system we are scanning is a Linux server, so we're going to use SSH. If we are scanning Windows machine, we're going to use SMB to gain access to the credentials of that system. And if you are scanning virtual machines, like in our VMware, we're going to use ESXi. And then if we want to scan a network device elsewhere, we could do SNMP. Okay, for now, we are scanning a Linux operating system. So I'm going to drop down on SSH and select the credential that I've already configured earlier where I define the username and password of the system that I want to scan. So we're going to use this username and password here to gain access to that system during the scan so that we can have a comprehensive result. Okay, so that being said, we're going to scroll down to the bottom and um, there should be option to uh, save. Okay. This thing can go further than this. <laughs> okay, so I think this should be saved down here. Yeah, click on it to save. And you can see we now define our scan target. So we went here to create the targets. Okay. And um, add result to asset, yes, minimum QOD 70%, that should be fine. So the open VAS, which is the vulnerability scanner, is going to be at least 70% sure before re reporting a vulnerability. So if it's not 70% sure that the vulnerability exists in a system, it's not going to report it. And uh, we don't want to enable auto-delete of the reports. Scanner, we're going to use open VAS default. And we're going to be full but fast scan. And then we want to be able to scan multiple systems at the same time, at least 20 systems. And we're using the maximum concurrently executed network vulnerability tests per host. Okay. And then we'll click on save again at the bottom right. Okay. So you can see here now that we have actually uh, scheduled a scan. The scan hasn't started yet. Okay, so if I scroll down here, you could see we have a scan which is named scanning my web server. And if you hover your mouse here, you see you can click on this icon to start it. We can click here to delete this scan. We can click here to edit it, make some changes. So I'm just going to click on this icon to start the scan. All right, so it's going to move from requested to queued and then from queued to scanning. All right, and that's how to provision vulnerability scanning in this tool. There's a host of other things I need to cover in this tool later, but what I just want to show you in this video is how to quickly create a scan against a target, which is one of the systems we have in your internal network. So we're going to wait. Uh, this is requested, so it's going to move from requested to queued and then from queued to scanning. And then we're going to come back at the end of the scan to analyze the scan results.